Hey folks, it's Theo over at the Batman Universe. It is the Monday after San Diego Comic Con and I am still pooped from a wonderful weekend. Six hour flight home from San Diego to Louisiana. But here I am, I'm dropping this video for you all. It's my interview with CRC Payne, the writer of Batman Wayne Family Adventures over at Webtoons. I wanted to give thanks to her and to Webtoons for not only speaking to me once, but twice. We had an issue with the audio in the original file, and so I was happy that they were able and willing to meet with me a second time so that we can get this video over to you all. Uh, I'm really enjoying Wayne Family Adventures, have been enjoying it for all three seasons, and as you will find out in the interview, if you're not reading Wayne Family Adventures already, they're doing it a little bit differently with the third season compared to the first two. So, I hope you enjoyed. This is my interview with CRC Payne, talking about Wayne Family Adventures, and I'll see you on the other side. With the Batman Universe, standing here with CRC Payne, true story, we did this before, <laughs> but some stuff happened, so we're back at it again. Thank you so much, CRC, yeah, for doing this with me. Look, take two is going to be even better. Take Let's two is going to be even better. So, we're sitting, waiting for an announcement about the season three of Batman Wayne Family Adventures, and then all of a sudden, there's a notification in the Webtoons app. Season three is coming. Here's so many episodes. So yeah. how how was your response when you got word that season three was approved and you got to work on it? Oh, I was so excited. Um, because I'm always writing a little bit ahead of where the episodes are coming out. So I had had a little bit of a break in season two, been doing some planning behind the scenes, and then the word came that we were ready to go on season three, start really writing and working on the art, and I was really, really excited to jump back in. And season three is a little bit different than what we got in seasons one and two. Yeah. We're, we're doing a long game now, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, we definitely switched it up. Um, after those mini episodes, we jumped into a long story format. Um, where it's one continuous narrative throughout the season, so our readers are going to be along for a very long ride this season. <laughs> what, was that always the plan? Because it looked like in seasons one and two, we were just fleshing out the individual members of the family, you know, telling their backstories, things of that nature. Was it always the plan that at some point we'll get a long story? With yeah, so with seasons one and two, we had or like always been talking a little bit about what if we did some longer character arcs because we had been sort of interspersing with the fun episodes, some deeper in character dives that were usually two part episodes, and it had always been in the back of our minds. Well, what if we make those five part episodes? And we really started looking at that for season three. And as I was putting together the plans for those longer arcs, and we're sort of looking at the season overall. My wonderful editor, Susan, was like, these are just related stories. What if we just do one long season? I was totally in. It made complete sense for what we wanted to do with the characters, and that's how we got there. So if you haven't caught up on season three yet, it's already known the big bad in season three is the Joker. Was that always the plan? Was he, is he like your only big bad <laughs> that you could have gone with? I think for season three, yes. I mean, we did look at a couple others, and you are going to see some other villains pop into season three. Um, but he made sense as the big bad. We've spent, you know, two seasons really building up the Bat family and showing how strong their family bond is. And the Joker felt like the right villain to come in and shake things up a bit because I feel like he is really one of the few Batman villains where it's, you know, when he comes on the page, you know something bad's about to happen. Yeah, and you could really see it once. Once they realize the joke, Duke said the joke is back. You see an entirely different Bruce Wayne. Yeah. So speaking of which, how is it writing Wayne Family Adventures Bruce Wayne compared to what we may find in a comic book? Because look, you go through the pages of a comic book. This is dog broody. <laughs> This Bruce Wayne, while he still has touches of it, mm -hmm. he really is a family guy. Yeah, uh, I think it's been an absolute joy to write Bruce that way. It is really fun to bring joy to Gotham, which we don't always get to see. Um, but I think, you know, when we started this comic, it really always was going to be about family. It was right in the title all along. And that necessarily meant that Bruce was going to be a family man and we were going to focus 
on that aspect of him, which I do think we see a lot of in the comics, but we don't necessarily get to have everyone in the Bat family all the time. They kind of come in and out of the books. Um, so it was great to have a dedicated story that was, this is Batman who is a father and that is his, you know, primary focus. In it. So can we expect any changes? Like from season one, we've had spoiler, we've had orphan, and we know in the comics they've graduated to Batgirl. Can we expect that to happen? Is that somewhere down the line planned? Even if you can't, you know, I, I, have- I all I'll say is um, we are going to see some character evolution this season. Um, and that's really all I'm going to be talking about. Okay. So, <laughs> but you can, you've already said that we're going to see some more villains, even though Joker's big mm-hmm. bad. What about some more heroes? Do we expect some more heroes to pop up in Gotham? Yes, you're going to definitely see a few more heroes this season. Um, this is going to be a very Gotham-focused story, but that doesn't mean we're not going to have some fun and pull some other people. Okay. So for those who, for some reason have not read an episode, even in volume form, of Wayne Family Adventures. <laughs> How would you sell them on? I would say Wayne Family Adventures is uh, just a really fun take on Gotham and Batman. If you want to see Batman not only struggling as a hero, but also having some fun as a father, come find our comic and you're going to have a good time. So if you're not into webtoons, that's quite okay because volumes one through four are available at Amazon and wherever you get your favorite books. Pick it up. They've been redesigned, so it's not really in webtoon format. Yeah. It's in a readable format, so yeah. which is really fun. CRC Payne, thank you so much for doing this again for us here Thanks at the Batman Universe. <laughs> so again, I want to thank CRC Payne for taking the moment to speak with me for a second time about Wayne Family Adventures over at Webtoons. The third season is going on right now. I am truly enjoying this new format by it being a longer story with a lot of lot of story that's to flesh out over the whole season. Joker's being the big bad and she's promised some cameos along the way from both the Rogues Gallery as well as from the other members of the Bat family and perhaps even the Justice League I'm hoping. Uh, but we shall see how things turn out. Again, I'm excited about it. If you're not reading Wayne's Family Adventures on Webtoons, you're missing out. But you also have the ability to pick up a copy in printed form. Again, Volume 4 is already at Amazon if you want to go ahead and buy a copy. But that is going to do it for this special episode of TBU Interviews over on the TBU YouTube channel. I want to thank you all for your continued support of the Batman universe. And remember, we're your one-stop shop for everything in the world of Batman and the Batman family. Whether it's news, comics, toys, video games, and more. But until next time, be safe on the streets of Gotham. Thank <laughs> you.